What are you wearing? I knitted me a new hat. <laughs> because morning hair. Morning hair? Morning hair, don't care. Your hair will never be as bad as in that video that we just released of us going to buy the camper. What is wrong with you? I don't know, what's wrong with me? Why would you video me like that? Because we're supposed to be real. They're gonna be like, you need to think before you choose a wife, Mr. Stauffer. <laughs> we're vlogging our day. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. Kitas. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon that way. Every single time we upload a new video with me, with a knitted hat on my head, you'll be alerted to it. So it is Saturday morning. I don't even know what today's date is. What is today? It's like the October 17th. My mom's 81st birthday is in two days. Oh my gosh. Two We've days. gotten her nothing. We, we suck. We're really bad. We suck. We need to make sure we at least call her. Thank you, That's Amazon. what she wants. Grandma wants to be called. Call your grandma right now. Call Everybody needs to go everybody call, call grandma. call your mom. Call, call mom. mom. Call grandma. Yeah. Call your loved one. That, need... That's what mom wants the most. She wants to be called. But we also need to send her something. And thank we you do. for Amazon. Of course, I don't know what their new address is because they just moved. We have to find that out because they can't get like regular mail to their house. Everything has to go to like boxes and stuff They're like that. They're living in the woods. They're living in upstate New York, which I'm super Down happy. Down by she, a river. She always wanted to live in upstate New York. In a like van. where we went camping. <laughs> That's right. where she's living. So I'm, I'm excited for her. So yeah, it's October 17th. We are going camping tomorrow. It looks like you've already been outside, sir. Well, I was doing some stuff out on the side by the chickens, but I have to go to work because we're going camping tomorrow. We're going to, where are we going? Korshan State Park, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're on the West Coast, we don't usually go over to the West Coast. We're going to the West Coast. I'm excited. The beaches on the West Coast of Florida are actually way cooler than the ones on the East Coast. They've got like the white sand beaches. Shells. They have lots of shells Lots over of there. shells. So we're going Very over shelly. there. It's supposed to be about a two hour drive. So towing the trailer, you're probably looking at like two and a half to three hours. Yeah, we got our, I guess it's not our sea legs. We got our road legs mm -hmm. by towing it just 30 minutes away. Right. That was for us to not be so scared just towing it. And then I don't know how this slipped me. I mean, again, where was Anthony in this one? There's no spare tire. Like we bought it, like it just didn't even occur to me that there was no spare tire on the back because almost all of them do come with a spare tire. There are some that don't. I didn't notice it either. And I feel like the old owner, because we did buy a used one, must have taken it off because I know that Grand Design sells them with spare tires. It's not like an option. So I had to run out and get a tire, but I don't have a spare tire mount because we don't have an RV store near us and I haven't had time to drive to Fort Pierce. So now I've got to throw the spare tire in the bed of my truck. At least we'll have it. We have one. It's like an umbrella. If you have it, you'll never need it. Yeah, well the good thing is it happens to be the same exact size tire that is on my trailer mm -hmm. for work. So I was able to buy just a new tire because I had like three of those rims and I just went and got a new tire and put it on one of the old rims. So at least we have something. But yeah, so that that's a thing. So what, at one point, maybe we can stop at the camping world that's over there to get a spare tire mount. So it's been a dirty morning for me already. Okay. I actually woke up to the <coughs> cat sound. <laughs> and now I have to go clean out the chicken coop. Are you, are you going to she like, was making noises make in the a middle mess? Of the night. At least she didn't barf though. I don't know. I heard her doing something because I was up super late editing videos. And yeah, so Anthony and I have to go to work because he took Sarah to Universal Studios yesterday. So we have two houses left. So I need to go to work. 
then I need to go to the church to set up the computer. I've got to set up the classrooms. I need to go to Home Depot. I need to get our food together for this week because we're going until Wednesday. Wow. And yeah, what else is on the menu? I, I don't, don't even know, know. But we better get this day started. Oh, and we have to film keto on the couch. So I'm going to head to work. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's very busy with she's puppy very activities. Busy, but she's not a puppy anymore. She's two years old. She's a baby. She's a baby who weighs a lot. A lot. What are you doing? You're going to the church? I gotta go to church after I, I clean the chicken coop. Okay. Okay, I just got done setting up the kids' spaces at church and I have no business being out around people looking like this much of a hot mess of crazy. But I'm gonna strap on my mask and go to the mall because my friend got me a $25 gift certificate for Macy's Definitely, this is not a store that I get to shop at often, so I'm gonna go see what I can purchase for $25. I am here at the Coral Square Mall here in Coral Springs, Florida. This is my mall like growing up. This is my mall rats mall. You know, the mall that like you totally associate with high school. Yep, it's the Coral Square Mall. I definitely came on the right day. It looks like just about everything is 50% off. How awesome is that? Okay, we are just gonna get real right here. This is the shapewear section. We've talked about wearing different things to kind of like deal with the skin issues. They are very expensive normally if you buy these type of undergarments, but if you can get them like this for 40% off, it is a deal. Now in my own experience, you wanna go at least one size smaller than what you need because you really want it to compress. So, and, and I definitely recommend these type, the whole body thing underneath because if you wear one half or the other, I've noticed that like it will roll down the way you don't want it to. Or if you're just wearing the top part, it will roll up the way that you don't want it to. But if you can get something where it is a combination, almost like an old timey bathing suit, then it will help all the way through to, to keep your skin tame and where you want it to be. P.S. I have never found one of these that work correctly. How in the world do you think that it's going to stay up? In my experience, it just made for a really nervous night on the town thinking any minute now, my bra is gonna fall off. I definitely think that this entire line was designed for me and 70% off. How cute are these plates? They're so dainty and lovely. I guess they're 40% off because they're more like spring, but how cute. Maybe the truest coffee mug I've ever seen. The dream is free, hustle sold separately. I have got to stop and give a shout out to every store that has one of these. Thank you, yes, I love going to the cash register, confident that I know what the price is. Love these things. I know you're gonna be shocked to hear this, but I actually do not have a plug-in coffee maker yet available on the inside of Eleanor. So I just found this Black & Decker one and I think it's on Super Sale. Let's see if I can scan it. Let me turn it upside down. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. So it was $45, it's on sale for $22.50. Perfect buy with my $25 gift card. Okay, so I got my brand new coffee maker for $24 and like three cents with tax. So I have like 90 something cents to remember that I still have on that gift card. But I was so proud of myself that I didn't buy anything else in that store that I went to Yankee Candle and bought something else past the gift card. It's kind of funny too for me to buy a coffee maker with the gift card because my friend Christine who gave me the gift card cannot stand coffee. So it's kind of hilarious that she bought me a coffee maker. So um, so yeah, I went to Yankee Candle and got some of the wax melts. I love these things. And they're only a dollar a piece right now. So Anthony loves the entire house to smell like Christmas trees all of the time. So I got different Christmassy ones for him. Um, they also had some fall ones, 50% off, like this pumpkin trifle. 
and salted caramel, which I love year round. You know, I'm all about the salted caramel. So it was only $2.50 for a whole bunch of them. And then if you just come in the store, they're giving away a free one of these for each customer. So I actually got this one for Anthony so that his car can also smell like Christmas year round. So Anthony and I got all of our work done. Uh, it was just two houses and they were supposed to be cut yesterday on Friday. Only he had asked me if he could have the day off so that he could go to Universal Studios with Sarah because during the week, they're not nearly as busy as they are on the weekend. So they had gone up and done that. And most of the work that we were supposed to cut on Friday, we actually did on Thursday. The only reason we didn't get to these two houses is because it started raining. And it's kind of weird because usually at this time of the year, the rain is kind of dying down, you know, down here in South Florida. We don't get as much lightning and stuff, but... For some reason this year, we're getting a lot of rain and lightning for October. As a matter of fact, last night I had a football game and we had an almost two hour lightning delay. I didn't get home until almost midnight. And in the past, those games probably would have been just postponed for another day because it was so late. But their season is only like four or five weeks long this year. So the coach is like, I really need to get some games in. We've had like one scrimmage. We're playing St. Thomas Aquinas next week. So we got the game in. I'm glad the kids were able to play some football. It's still a little weird officiating. so. But anyway, right now I'm waiting for Rachel to get home. And while I'm waiting for her, I'm editing some kids ministry videos. And then I'm also editing videos for Two Crazy Campers, which if you haven't seen that channel, go check it out. Go, please do us a favor, go subscribe. I'll hit the right up here. There's a subscribe button for you. Uh, we're trying to build up that channel and trying to hopefully get other people who aren't seeking out keto to maybe find out about keto, you know, maybe because they're looking for camping videos. Uh, but we're, we're trying to get a bunch of content up there. We have three videos right now. I'm trying to get three more for this weekend. And then after that, we're probably going to do like one video a week and then still stick to five videos over here on Two Crazy Ketos. And I wanted to know though, let us know down in the comment section, what is your favorite content on Two Crazy Ketos? Do you like the review videos? Do you like the vlogs, the what I eat in a days? Uh, do you like the live streaming? Do you like, you know, when we do different types of informational videos, like how to start keto? Or do you like the fact that we have so many different things? I'm curious what everybody likes down below. Also, uh, for the people who like vlogs, what kind of content do you like to see in the vlogs? Because we're trying to like up our game on vlogs. So do you want to see more of just like nonsense of like what we're doing in the day and kind of interspersed food? Or do you want to like talking about a topic or a subject throughout the vlog? So I'm curious. Let us know down in the comment section. So I'm going to get back to editing videos. Uh, then Rachel's going to come home. We have a couple things we need to do. And then I have to go wash the RV roof. I was up there the other day and I guess it hasn't been washed in a while. So I want to get up there and wash it. So what's the plan for the rest of the afternoon? We have to shower after I clean out the chicken coop. Yeah, for some reason, one of the chickens isn't using the nesting boxes. I found two eggs, like literally like right below where they roost. That's I the don't know. Pooping area. Yes, I, like right smack in the middle of the pooping area. Why do I feel like it's Hannah? But I feel like for some reason they're all laying at the same exact time. And this morning I went in there to get an egg, and somebody was very angry that I opened that thing up because she was privacy, to please. Pretty much, she started screaming at me. Yeah, privacy, please. So I was on my way home from the church. And the little light came on on my truck saying, like, it's time to change your oil. Oh, nice. So since we're taking a drive tomorrow towing the trailer. Better change that oil. I stopped. I got everything to change my oil. So I'm going to go change my oil. I really wanted to clean the roof of the camper. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that now because I have a bunch of other things to do. And then. We got like, a tape. Oh, we have to take Keto on the couch, too. Wow, well, we have a busy afternoon and it's already, what, 4 o'clock? How is this happening? So I need to run into Costco because we got our reward coupon for our membership. 
We have the executive membership, which does cost a little bit more money. I think it's like $120 a year. And uh, you get 2% back on all your purchases. And at the end of the year, it basically for us covers our membership. This year we got $128 back. So we made $8 off of it. But I like the fact that I'm not paying for my membership. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna run in there. I gotta cash in this reward coupon or basically just use it to renew this year's membership. And I also wanna look because there's a few things on sale that I wanna get. So I just got out of Costco and I got some good deals. Spent about $100, but I got a lot for that $100. First thing I got were these uh, Green Ridge Farms sausages or they're like beef sticks. These things are awesome. You're gonna find them in the refrigerated section. Rachel and I like these. You have to be careful though because one of these is actually two servings. So what we do is we actually cut it in half and then put them in a Ziploc bag. But uh, so one of these sticks or a half a stick, one serving is 110 calories. It is uh, nine grams of fat, eight grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates. And the ingredients are beef, water containing 2% or less of sea salt, celery powder, vinegar, garlic, natural flavors, and a sheep casing. So these are really clean, they're healthy, they taste delicious. And like I said, we just cut them in half and store them that way. Then everything else I got was actually on sale. I know we usually only buy single flavors, but I could not pass up the fact that you got this mixed flavor, the 30 tubes of Zip Fizz for $21, so that was a great deal. Rachel, of course, take all of the fruit punch. I'll drink the grape and we'll kind of split up the uh, orange. Then I got this, mostly for camping. This Dunkin' Donuts, I mean, we at home we have the one where we use the beans, but camping, I don't want to bother with beans. So we got this, this is 156 ounce cups of, for coffee and it was $5 off a container, $4 off a container. I think it was like $13, so I got two of these. And then, Moon Cheese. Buy one, get one free. They're sold out online, but our Costco had them. I bought 10 bags of these at buy one, get one free. Uh, that to me is an awesome deal. They're gonna last a while. Um, the uh, ex expiration date on these are February 22nd of 2022. I may even come back and get some more of these because they are such a good deal. And now you're gonna see the sign says a limit of five and I asked them, it is a limit of five coupons. So you can buy 10 of these and save $45 buying 10 of them. I'm not quite sure when the deal ends, but I would run up and get some of these ASAP. You ready to do this? Let's do this. All of us are ready to do this. Why is she in here? Because we're taping something and she just has to be a part of it. We have to edit, or not edit, we have to film Keto on the Couch. We haven't eaten yet. We haven't eaten yet, but I'm thinking that we have to film this and then I have to edit it because I have to have everything ready to go because we're leaving tomorrow right after church and it's like a two hour drive. Not going to bed tonight. I guess not. Well, no, I'm going to bed, but I'll have to get up early in the morning and do it. So it is dinner time. It's 9.38, but it's still dinner time. We just finished filming Keto on the Couch. Rachel's doing her own food tonight. I'm just having some eggs, some bacon, and I'm gonna have a Keto Chow ice cream. I'm not super hungry, and I'm really in the mood for Keto Chow ice cream, but we have a ton of eggs, so that's what I'm gonna have. She's having ground beef. Change of plans. I found a bacon cheddar burger. I have a whole box of them. This uh, is what I'm eating tonight. Uh-oh. So what are you eating? I am having a package of hamburger, a couple of eggs and some cheese. <laughs> We're keeping it very simple tonight because it is 9.30 p.m. and we're having our first meal. I don't and understand meal. why we're waiting so long, but I thought we were fasting. I, I think that that's what I thought we were doing because we were going camping tomorrow, but. You know what? I want to eat and I'm not going to think too much about it. I'm going to keep it simple. We only we have about seven of these burgers left. Is that what you're eating? That I'm gonna eat one of those because I just found the box earlier, and I'm really bummed that none of the Sam's Clubs by us have any of these They're burgers anymore. They're so good. I'm willing to drive. Does anybody know where we can find the bacon cheddar burgers from Members Mark at Sam's Club? Why should be like Texas? We will drive to get those, or you can air mail them to us. We like will Rachel will pay for the shipping. Because they're her favorite burger we will ever. We'll be traveling with a giant deep freezer. So dinner is served. It's so ugly. You're oh not gosh. supposed to be eating without me. Like, here's the deal. I always have to cook. I have to make your plate. And then I have to go make my plate. And mine's always cold. Like, 
I feel like you should have to put your food down and you can't eat it until my food's ready. I totally appreciate your thought process, but like, yeah, no, I'm eating. So this is kind of like really ugly notches. It's just hamburger and eggs mixed together on top of some chili lime quest chips topped with a couple of pieces of salami and some sour cream. Super ugly, super delicious. Sounds good. Okay, I'm very bummed because I got so distracted, I overcooked my eggs. This is like a Rachel kind of egg. They're like, just right. I want runny eggs and I overcooked my two double yolk eggs. So I've got three eggs, but five egg yolks. I've got one of the bacon cheddar burgers with a piece of cheddar cheese on top. And this is like our new thing. We take salami that we get at like Sam's Club or something like that, and you put it on the black scone. Blackstone, and then you cook it until it's like a chip, and then you melt cheese over the top of it, and it's awesome. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm having ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. <sighs> we had our delicious dinner. We had dinner. Now we're having some keto chow ice cream with. Boop. We're having this on top. Schoolyard snacks. I, they mm. changed the name. I never even noticed that. This is the new shipment. Oh, wow. It's not cereal school anymore. It's schoolyard snacks. I like schoolyard snacks better than cereal school, actually. It'll always be cereal school to me. This is delicious. It's really good. I much prefer to have this most of the time than, like, no knock on Rebel or Enlightened. No. But you get a lot more. Like, this entire bowl, the entire bowl is like 200 calories. What flavor is this? Vanilla. And then we have the uh, chocolate, like cereal school on top. Is it, it's, oh, cocoa. So yeah, really good. That's gonna be our vlog for today. No, not very many exciting things. I haven't even looked at like all your footage. You went shopping. Did you get anything good? It was pretty exciting actually. Was it pretty exciting? I guess I get to see it all because we have had like no time together. I mean, what kind of vlog is this? It's two crazy ketos, but we were separate today. Hey, Editing Joe. I love you. I love you too. But I can't tell that to editing Rachel because Rachel doesn't edit videos. But I do get to go camping with you tomorrow. Camping Rachel is awesome. Camping Rachel is really awesome because we're going to go bike riding and we're going to go hiking. And I haven't decided if we're going to bring the kayak yet. I don't know. Believe it or not, I still have some shipping before I go to bed. Somehow, Rachel always gets like a buttload of shipping the night before we have to leave. Sneaks it in. So and he sneaks into the garage. He's like, like a ninja. He's a ninja. You don't even hear him. So it's ten. It's about ten thirty. I'm gonna finish the, all the shipping, and then I got to get up and start the next day over at five thirty. Yeah. Well, we're we're bad. We've been well. I gotta edit videos. I have work to do. So that's gonna be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there's an entire playlist of like full day eating videos. You're gonna find it right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon that way every single time we eat and have a day, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.